You might have noticed over Christmas, one of the most senior politicians in recent times was exposed as having done a horrible historical racism. Yes, Tory policy chief and MP for Dorset, Oliver Letwin, sent a memo to Margaret Thatcher in 1985 telling her why they shouldn't be investing money in black communities because, as he put it, they'd just waste it on drugs and discos and setting up Rastafarian craft shops. Fucking hell, Letwin. Where exactly did you get your info from? Uh, 1980s TV? Be careful giving money to these blacks, Margaret. They'll only go and spend it on lilt and pavements that light up when you step on them and... Body popping. Anyway, we invited <laughs> Oliver Letwin on to the show to explain his racist remarks, but he didn't even do us the courtesy of a response, which, as far as I'm concerned, gives us carte blanche to label him a racist dickhead and spend five to six minutes slagging him off. Joining us now to hopefully help me do so is David Lammy, Labour MP for Tottenham, who grew up on the very Broadwater Farm estate that Letwin was on about. Welcome, David. Hi. Uh, did you spend any state money on drugs and discos in the 80s? <laughs> No, it was my own money. Yeah, it was your money. <laughs> well, bravo for that. Um, no, look, Rastafarian... Craft shops. Craft shops. Yes. I've never, ever seen one. There's one on every high street. Uh, You're not looking that, properly. That is just <laughs> insane <laughs> in the brain. But, but what, what beggars belief is that this guy had a very serious job. This was a huge... I mean, the riots were just catastrophic for Tottenham. It was a terrible moment. You're charged with briefing the Prime Minister of the day and you come up with the biggest load of horse manure you can imagine. After the 1985 riots, there was virtually zero investment in Tottenham. Mm. Um, and you could argue that in some ways that built the kind of ground base for the second set of riots 25 years later. Mm. Um, other than a little bit of tightening up a Broadwater Farm estate, and I think we got a new library, I can recall nothing else that came into Tottenham. And Bernie Grant, the MP at the time, was demonised, absolutely vilified and demonised by the right-wing press, um, by the government at the time. He was called a, 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 a sort of spear-like chief. It was just absolutely terrible. And to be reminded of it um, uh, following the sort of 30-year rule, it, I just find it really depressing, actually. Oliver Letwin is still a chief policy advisor to the Prime Minister today. Yes, and I want to know what memos he's saying to the well, Prime Minister today. Why is he in post? Look, I suppose it was 30 years ago, but this was serious, serious prejudice. Mm. He said there was a... He, he demonised a whole community as a sort of... as morally bankrupt. All of us, including well, me, by the way. Well, he uh, said um, there's something, you know, slightly Nietzschean about this, that it was something inherent there was a moral, inherent moral problem amongst black people. This is what he said. He said, lower class unemployed white people lived for years in appalling slums without a breakdown of public order on anything like the present scale. He was suggesting that there was an inherent morality problem in black people. Absolutely. And what it, but but what, what it sort of belies is a kind of Downton Abbey, <laughs> aristocratic, superior sense that I'm on top and all these poor people should know their place. What happened was the first generation of black immigrants went out, they built the underground, they worked in the NHS, and their, their, their sons, basically, were really harassed around by the police, chronically failed by the education system. We got riots and all the rest of it. That's what really happened. And actually, the idea that, 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 that white folk in poor parts of the country were also not rioting, were also not upset, when the miners' strike was mm. going on at the same time, is absurd and patently untrue. And there's a whole history along, of, of lots of poor white community as virulent in their objections as some of the things that they were foisted on them as black communities wherever they are in the world. That's what oppressed people do, in fact. Have you spoken to or seen Oliver Letwin since this around Westminster? I have not seen Oliver Letwin, um, but I uh, look forward to seeing Oliver Letwin. Um, and um, I don't know, I think I might end up wrestling him to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> um, rugby tackling do, in the, in do, the you the do you think, I mean, you know, this is one of those things where you think everything that you thought about Tories might actually be true. You, you know, some of us will try to say we can't, can't quite be the pantomime villas that they're made out to be. But then you hear something like this, you think, oh my God, 
all Tories are, to some extent or another, a bit racist, yes or no? <laughs> 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 yeah, um, well, that's the loaded question. It's a cliche. What was, what was the... Um, Alan Bastard, wasn't it? Was Alan Bastard, uh, yeah. The, was the old... Um, was Rick Mayle. Rick Mayle was the real kind of epitome of the worst kind of Tory in the 80s. This memo confirmed that. And the idea that Oliver... Wet, if generally, people see as a bit of a wet, mm. was actually that extreme in his views. He's worrying about... I mean, what was Norman Tebbit saying, <laughs> for example? <laughs> <laughs> um, David Cameron should sack him, right? Right now, he should sack him. It's 30 years ago. I mean, he's a, he, he did apologise straight away. Um, it was a mealy mouth and the truth apology, is the wasn't views, it? He said some of the, the, the things the view, I said the views, were badly worded. Is which, that, yeah, I mean, I've got it here. Look, I'll tell you what he said. Right, go on, uh, he me. said, I want to make clear that some parts of a private memo I wrote nearly... I mean, the fact that it's private is neither here nor there. To do with that it. I wrote it's nearly 30 public. years ago were both badly worded and wrong. I apologise unreservedly for any offence these comments have caused and wish to make clear that none was intended. One, it's not private, because it's been made public under yeah. the 30-year rule. Two, uh, it's not some, it's all. Mm. Um, and three, he was a paid advisor mm. giving the Prime Minister the most... I mean, it was horseshit, basically, what he said. Yeah. And I'm saying that publicly. That's what he said. He should go. Good man. Thanks very much for joining us, David. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to have you here, as always.